Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, <laughs> welcome back. Uh, here with another Vendor Waxel video. Uh, this will focus on what I got from Ebony Violet. So this was from a pre-order, I think from September, so it was a while ago. Um, it was, I think there was, I got stuff discounted, I'm pretty sure, because when she does pre-order she tends to offer a variety of different codes. Uh, so I can't remember which one I used, but I know I used one of them. Um, and... Yeah, I got quite a few things that I've had before, and looking at it, there's probably a few things. I got two snap bars and a bunch of souffles. There's a couple of things I probably, like, they're scents I really love. I think if I'd been willing to spend more, I would have got them in uh, snap bars as well, but I didn't. Got different colour staining today. <laughs> so the other day I had, um, the other day I had pink stained hands. That seems to mostly have gone, but now I have blue stained hands, uh, because my... We put like a little bit of food colouring in the bath sometimes for my son's baths and the blue container, somehow there's now blue food dye on the lid so when I went and opened that up, blue went everywhere. So, you know, just if it's not one colour, it's another. Uh, okay, so let's do the two snap bars first. Both scents I've had before. Uh, so I first have IKYFL. So this one is... Fresh baked creamy zucchini bread, sweet pineapples and whipped cream. I love these snap, this snap bar shape in general. Um, I will say with Ebony Violet, because the wax is so soft, the bags, like they look really nice right now. The bags do get very mushy over time. So it's fine, but um, her wax is so soft that you kind of don't need to snap it in a way. Like it's one of the softest wax brands around. I would say, like even now, I mean, it's been a very warm day, so that sort of explains why, but it's very, very soft right now. I love this scent. Um, it is delicious. Fresh baked creamy zucchini bread, sweet pineapples and whipped cream. I'm not sure if I read that out, but anyway. I've had it before. Zucchini bread and pineapple together is just so delicious, like. Sweetly pineapple, but just so yummy. And she uses a really good zucchini bread. So I love this one. I do now have um, another... Because I don't know many vendors that do like a combo like that. So I did do a custom with K, which is like a honey pineapple one. But it was inspired by this. Um, and it's good because it's different because her honey pineapple oil is different. But they're still related. Like they still have that really amazing pineapple kind of zucchini bread thing going on. So I definitely recommend this one if any of that scent combination kind of sounds good to you. Because this one is so good and it throws so well. I'm very happy to have this. The next, the next uh, snap bar that I have. This one looks so perfect right now. Um, the Red Room. So this one is black sugar type cashmere cedar and vanilla lace. I've only had this one in a like a little shot cup before. Um, I got it in a shot cup because it was just one of those sorts of scents I was just really nervous about. My goodness, this is just like art, the way that is decorated. It is so pretty. Like with the glitter and the swirls of colour, it looks so nice. Um, because vanilla lace is what always one I'm a little bit nervous about. But this blend, this blend is so amazing. It's definitely got black sugar, which I've heard some people describe as like motor oil. I get where they're coming from. It does kind of give, it gives kind of leather and oud vibes to me. But it's somehow blended in a way that's kind of lifted and not like heavy and cloying. So I do like black sugar. But then the cashmere cedar just adds a slight sweetened kind of tree-like vibe. And oh my goodness, the vanilla lace, just the sweetness from the vanilla lace. This is just, it is so, it is, it is a very sexy scent, but it's just really interesting and lovely as well. So it's, I remember when I melted this one for the first time, I was like, I definitely need to get quantity of that one. So... That's that. <clears throat> now everything else is souffles. So another one that I've had before, and this one I I wish I'd gotten as a one of those snapper. 
Um, so this is Uni to Coat, which is boom boom type of roasted pine cones. Um, I've raved about roasted pine cones as an oil before. It's just one of my favourite oils. It's amazing. Ebony Violet has a great version of it. I mean, I don't know. I think roasted pine cones everywhere I've smelled it has been the same. There are other pine cones oils, but they don't tend to be called roasted pine cones. Um, roasted pine cones. I'm just chatting while I try and squeeze this out. It is so soft. Um, roasted pine cones to me, it kind of reminds me of vanilla balsam, but pine cone, which I don't know if that would make much sense, but it's like, um, kind of got a vanilla sort of almost gourmand feel to it, but it's so like that, the vanilla aspect of the vanilla balsam, it similar to the vanilla aspect of roasted pine cones. It's the best way to explain it. And this one is very much roasted pine cones heavy, but the boom boom, like it smells quite strong here, but I feel like just, I don't know. So this does smell body care like, but the roasted pine cones is just amazing in it. So I, I really enjoy this one. It's kind of, it's just like an enhanced, roasted pine cones for me in a way but I don't know well, I'm not explaining this well but I really like it and if you do like the roasted pine cones oil you would probably like that too okay. I should do maybe I should try and do the ones I've had before so the next one is Spock so this one is fresh blackberries toasted marshmallows and palo santo it's been a while since I've had this one and I remember at the time I had a few uh, Blackberry Palo Santo scents, so I was a little bit like, they're all a bit the same. Um, so I sort of, I ordered it once, and then I didn't get it again for a while. But then I now have not had any Blackberry Palo Santo scents for a while. So when this one came up on the pre-order, I was like, it's probably time to get this one again, because it is really nice. Mm, her blackberries oil is phenomenal. It is quite sweet, although the toasted marshmallows probably helps with that a bit, but I do think her blackberry oil is more juicy than a lot of vendors, and I really like that about it. Might not be like a super authentic blackberry, but it smells like a blackberry. It doesn't even, I wouldn't even say like blackberry juice, although I'm thinking more of black currant, I suppose. But then, yeah, the woody palo santo and, like, the marshmallow is a little bit creamy. It's really, really good. So, very happy to have more of that again. And now I don't have any other woody palos at the moment. So, that's the one. Alright, next. Uh, what am I? Beauty in the Dark. So, I think I still have some of this one. So this is caramelized vanilla, tobacco leaves, patchouli, lavender, jasmine, warm vanilla, sugar, and jasmine. This one always has jasmine listed twice in the scent note. I'm not sure why. Very dark one, this one. Um, this is very pretty. She does do a lot of scents like this, which are... She has a, uh, Ebony Violet has a lot of um, perfume types, which a lot of other vendors don't carry. I will say some of them... Maybe they don't get carried because they don't throw particularly well. Um, but I like the fact that, she, you know, she offers those choices. And this one, I think this one's a blend, sorry. I'm really insistent on pushing everything out, but with also not making a big waxy mess. And those two things are not... I'm also trying not to squish the wax into my hands because it's so squishy. Um... Uh, This is not what you all came to see. I'm <laughs> I just gouged a giant chunk out on my thumb. I, I give up. Oh, it, this one is so pretty though. Um, it's the jasmine is a really nice floral. Like I'm not <laughs> trying to not lose all this wax. Um, I'm not necessarily like the biggest. I'm not a big floral lover. But jasmine in the right blend is really pretty. Because it can be just right, quite fresh, I think. And this one, this one to me is warm and floral, but the caramelized vanilla, I think, and it's not like a heavy caramelized vanilla, but it's just smooth and sweet and yeah, this is a really complex and interesting blend. I've made an absolute mess of that one in getting it half out and taking a giant chunk with my thumb, so I'm going to give up with that. <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, I love that Beauty in the Dark scent. Okay. This one, I can't actually remember if I've had it or not before. So this is Daughter of Fire. This is tobacco leaf, caramelized sugar, palo santo wood, toasted marshmallow, smoldering wood and fire, roasted vanilla. I think I have had it, but I think it was a while ago. Um, and I can't remember how I felt about it, so that's why I got it again. I've been pulling quite hard on these tins. I've actually ripped a few of the tins, like, in trying to... Because I'm finding the edge of them is really kind of squished in. So to pop it out, I'm kind of having to, like, free the... This one came out quite easily. This is really nice. It's very strongly parlo, I think. Parlo and the smouldering woods, I think. But then there's a really beautiful sweetness, I think, with the caramelised sugar and... What's fire-roasted vanilla? I don't know what fire-roasted vanilla is. But yeah, the sweetness and the smouldering woods, and it's really pretty. I really, really like this. Very marshmallow-like, but also, but there's like a spiced wood as well. I think maybe the tobacco leaf enhances that a bit. Very good. Okay. Uh, I think everything else here is now new to me. Oh, this one, I've had blends with this. So this is just strawberry pound cake type. Uh, so sweet strawberries, buttery pound cake with cream. I don't know why I threw this, threw this in, to be honest. I mean, I I think I was curious because I did have, I have had a strawberry pound cake from Ebony Violet before. It was a long time ago, and I'm pretty sure she's changed oils. So I think I wanted to check out her current strawberry pound cake outside of a blend. Because I remember her last strawberry pound cake, like the first one I tried solo, was, it was okay, but it had a very kind of green strawberry Bent to it, which I didn't love. So, this is really, really good. It's very syrupy. So, off the bat, I would say it's not like my ultimate favorite strawberry pound cake oil, just because there is this oil that has this beautiful succulent, succulent strawberry, but then it's also pound cakey. I'd say I can't really smell a pound cake to this. It almost smells like the top of like a strawberry cheesecake almost. I wouldn't say it has a cheesecake note to it, but just that if you had like a really rich kind of very coolness with some creaminess, like just a, you can kind of smell creaminess from the cheesecake. That's what this smells like. So this smells amazing actually. This is a really good strawberry blender. Not like my... You know, I kind of thinking of it, think of it as a bit of a different scent to strawberry pound cake, I suppose. But really good. Would blend really well. So very happy to have that. Um, munchies for your love. So this is cash, uh, chocolate amber and cashmere cedar. Um, I don't know why I was. I think I was thinking it was chocolate orchid because I remember when I did the video the unboxing video yesterday um, I was like oh that's got two of my favorite oils but I'm realizing no chocolate amber is not an oil I think I'm super familiar with I think I was thinking of chocolate orchid cashmere cedar I know I like a lot okay all right it's been a very delicate operation to get these out but yeah so I, I don't know if when I ordered this, I thought in my head it was chocolate orchid. Chocolate amber. So this smells good, but there's a note in there I'm not sure about. I think it is an actual chocolate note. It doesn't, it's not, it's not like it smells like chocolate, but it's like, there's a slight perfume like cocoa note. The cashmere cedar does smell good though. This one could be okay. But yeah, there's, there is just a note in there I'm not sure about. So we'll see how that one goes when I warm it up. Um, yeah, I'm not as familiar with chocolate amber. I think in my head I was thinking chocolate orchid. when I, And chocolate orchid I think would actually go really well with cashmere cedar. I should try that. Um, but anyway. 
Uh, so I got milk and cookies. This is warm vanilla sugar cookies and milk. I don't know if that's actually warm vanilla sugar or if it's just warm vanilla sugar cookies. <laughs> I, I have a feeling it's the latter, but yeah, I'm not 100% sure. So I just like, I find milk and cookie scents from vendors to be kind of hit and miss. Sometimes I really enjoy them, sometimes I don't, but I like to try them because, um, yeah, when they're good, they're good, really, really good. I'm like making gouge marks with my fingernails as I run along the edge and, oh my goodness, I'm not having a good time of it today with the wax. I've got all over my finger. Oh, wow, okay. Um, very nutty. This smells like a hazelnut cookie, like, like a cookie with a big old hazel, like literally a hazelnut, maybe like stuck to it with like hazelnut Nutella spread or something. I don't know if I love that. It's yeah, it's like Nutella on hazelnut steroids. Doesn't really smell like milk or cookies. I mean, I guess in that it does smell like a cookie with hazelnut on it, but yeah, the strongest hazelnut vibes I think I've ever gotten off a of wax scent ever. So that's not what I expected. <laughs> it's not bad, I guess. I mean, I, I might try it on its own and if I don't love it, I feel like I could blend it. I feel like I could blend it with another bakery and tone it down. But I just have a feeling that hazelnut vibe is going to be way too much for me. Rise and Shine Buttercup. So this is Thai Sticky Rice Dark Coffee Beans and Sugar Cookie. So I was just really intrigued by the combination of Thai Sticky Rice and coffee. Um, I don't know if I've loved other vendor or vendor Thai Sticky Rice scents. Um, like it's always a sort of thing that like. I'm like, oh, that's intriguing, and then I get it, I'm like, yeah, it does smell like Thai sticky rice, but I don't think I wanted my house to smell like Thai sticky rice, so this could be another one of those kind of good in theory scents. Oh, this is nice. That coffee oil is amazing. It's really thick and dark and roasty, but somehow really good. I don't know if it's because of what it's blended with or if it's just the coffee oil is fabulous. Because I've been off coffee scents lately. But somehow this just smells so warm and bakery-like, but super coffee-like, but really, really good. <laughs> I don't know if it's just, I can't really smell Thai sticky rice, but I feel like this is much better than just a coffee and cookie scent, so I'm feeling, I think it's doing something. Yes, that's really good. Really, really good. I'm very surprised by that one, actually. Because I don't know if I've had, like, an amazing run with Ebony Violet coffee scents. I know I've had at least one really good one. Maybe I need to go back and check which oils it was that I liked and which oils it was that I didn't. I think there was one that had a hazelnut kind of scent in it and I didn't love that one, but then there was another one, I don't know. Anyway, last scent, sweater, sweaters and leggings. So this is sweater weather type, sweet cotton candy and juicy blackberry. I don't know which type of sweater weather this is, whether it's like the, um, the proper dupe or if there's another oil out there. I think I heard someone describe it as the, some vendors have like the candle dupe and others have a body care dupe. I am not familiar enough with sweater weather in general. I mean, I have the candle. Not that I've melted it, burned it, whatever you do with candles. <laughs> um, I haven't used it, but I do have it. So I know what that smells like, but I haven't smelt the body care. So I think this is the legit, the, the candle version. And this smells really, really good. Because it's sweet, and like I said, her blackberry is super juicy. She even calls it juicy blackberry. So yeah, this is, it's so, it's like super fresh, but sweet. 
bit juicy, but it's really, really good. Mmm, love that. Love that a lot. It'll be an interesting one, though, in terms of me when I melt it, because sweater weather... I feel like I should be able to melt it in the warmer months because I find it refreshing, but I do I do seem to associate it with winter. But juicy blackberries I associate with summer. So I might try and melt this sooner rather than later because I feel like I could enjoy this now. Um, I don't... My brain gets very particular about what scents I'd melt in what weather. Um, and I feel like that's one that if I get too much in my head, own head about it, um, I could potentially just not end up melting it because it's too wintry for summer and too summery for winter. What that should mean is that it's just fine for all year round, but sometimes my brain doesn't always work that way. <laughs> um, anyway, that's it. That's everything I got from Ebony Violet in this pre-order. I might do the Super Tarts stuff tomorrow just because it's still quite hot in here. <laughs> um, we have had a cool change come over tonight, but it hasn't, like, my window's open and it's not reaching in here yet so it's quite stuffy so I might do that video tomorrow that will be two orders and then that will be the four order box done uh so I hope you're all doing really well I'll talk to you all again soon bye